The LPV-111 is part of the immense system of levees extending around New Orleans. During Hurricane Katrina, the levee failed in several points, aggravating flood conditions. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is now executing a wide-scale plan of improvements, including the reinforcement of the five-mile-long LPV-111. The project was awarded to a joint venture of Archer Western and Alberici in alliance with Previ Icos, and entails the elevation of the levee and installation of buttresses by soil mixing. When finished, this will be the largest soil mixing project ever undertaken in the U.S. and possibly in the world. The 1500 buttresses are being installed using SoilMec SR90 hydraulic rotary rigs specifically fitted for the soil mixing application with double augers. The structural elements forming the buttresses are composed of two overlapping columns of stabilized soil. For the grout, Trevi Icos is using a mix of Portland cement and blast furnace slag to achieve the specified compressive strength. The mix is produced in in-situ batching plants equipped with mixers designed by Trevi Group and is pumped to the rigs through high-pressure pumps. As they are completed, the buttresses are covered with clay necessary to raise the height of the levee. Due to the size of the project, work goes on day and night, six days a week. This schedule imposes efficient logistics and uncompromising safety standards. Another crucial element is quality control. Routine tests are continually performed on the batching plants and extend to the actual soil mixing process. Soil mech rigs not only monitor the flow rate from the batching plant, they also control the quantity of material injected through the augers. Substantial completion of the LPV-111 levy reinforcement is scheduled for June 2011.